Hi everyone, it's Tips, Tricks, and How To by Gone Researching. This is the fourth instructional video in a series I'm creating on Family Tree Maker 2017. My hope is this will serve as a visual supplement to the companion guide and help built into the program. I think everyone should be able to learn something useful regardless of whether you are new to Family Tree Maker 2017, upgrading from an older version, or have been using the program for a while now. Because this is one of the workspaces where you will spend most of your time to cover it properly, I have divided it into two parts. This video is the second part in which we will review the People Workspace Person View tab and the Specialized Person menu that appears in the menu toolbar. The prior video is People Workspace Part 1 that reviewed the People Workspace Tree View tab and the People Toolbar. This is People Workspace Part 2. I'd like to point out that I'm using Family Tree Maker 2017, the build release by Software Mac Kiev in 2017. Uh, there is an update to Family Tree Maker 2017 that was released in February 2018, but I'm not using it for two reasons. I haven't made the time to install it, and I'm keeping my program the same version as the Cousins while we work on something. For those already running the update from February 2018, don't worry, everything here still applies to that release, though a few features have been tweaked, and I'll try to remember to point these out along the way. In either situation, in order to use the Records Merge feature, you must have the Family Tree Maker 2017 version and be signed into your Family Search account, which is free, and or be signed into your Ancestry data subscription to access the record collections on Ancestry, which require a subscription fee. In the first and second videos of this series, we covered the Family Tree Maker 2017 interface and the plan workspace. With this fourth video and the third, we review the People Workspace. In Family Tree Maker, all the different options and features are organized so that similar things are together, which means there are seven workspaces. These workspaces are Plan, People, Places, Media, Sources, Publish, and Web Search. The People Workspace, which you see here, is where you build your tree files backwards, forwards, and sideways, adding and connecting the people, your ancestors and relatives, viewing them as family groups and as individuals as well as in a pedigree and family chart view. I think of the people workspace as looking at your tree from the people point of view. The left panel of most of the workspaces is the list panel. The center panels are the data panels and the right panel is the editing information panel. In the people workspace there are two view tabs, tree and person. Now let's switch from the Tree View tab covered in the prior video to the Person View tab. The Person View tab of the People Workspace is where your focus turns to just one individual in your tree. Here you can add, edit, and delete facts and events of just one person. In this View tab, there is no list panel on the left, just data panels called the Individual and Shared Facts panel at the top, the Person panel at the bottom, and the editing information panel on the right. Though we have not covered the person specialized menu for the people workspace yet, changing the view from tree to person does not change the menu's items. The people toolbar, which we covered in the people workspace part one video, does get two changes in the person view. The color coding quick link disappears while a navigation pedigree bar is added to the toolbar. This navigation pedigree bar is a quick way to jump to what another individual in the person view tab without going to the tree view tab. So we can switch from William here to his wife Dorcas and then back again as needed. If the individual is not shown in the pedigree then click on the quick link icon to the index list. To locate and select the individual you desire. You can manually move in the tree to the person you want. You can search for them. There's a home button to take you to this, the home person. There is a bookmark link to take you to the individuals you have bookmarked. And as you click on someone, if they have a um, nickname or, inf or RIN number, it will appear down here. The index quick link icon's downward pointing arrow will give you a list of the people you have recently added or edited. 
The individual and shared facts panel at the top of the person view by default shows its facts tab. These are all the facts that have been entered to, for the selected person. This panel has its own toolbar. There are three tabs, facts, timeline, and relationships, providing different ways to see the information. Then an add fact button and a delete fact button. There are two components to the add fact button. The downward arrow provides quick access to birth, death, and marriage facts for use for the first time or as a way to add an alternate to the originally entered fact. The blue plus sign takes you to the add fact dialog window where you can choose to add any existing fact or select the new button to jump to the add custom fact window. For the delete fact button, Make sure you have the fact you want to delete selected, highlighted, before clicking the delete button. It's very easy to accidentally delete a fact mistakenly. The individual and shared facts panel displays all the facts entered for the individual in the order of personal information, individual facts, and share facts with spouse. If there is more than one spouse, the shared facts are grouped by spouse in order of the marriage dates, as you see here. Displayed in column or format, the headings are fact type, date, place and description, the details, and by icon, the number of sources linked to the fact, the number of media linked to the fact, and the number of notes linked to the fact, along with a flag if the fact is the preferred fact rather than an alternate fact. A preferred fact is one that you think most accurate or meaningful to the person or from a more reliable source, and it is the one that is used when making reports and charts. Selecting a fact displays its information in the editing information panel on the right. It is in the editing panel that you add or edit the facts information, which we will review shortly. You can right click in the white area of the individual and shared facts panel and a pop-up menu will let you add fact or switch between timeline and relationships, merge duplicate facts, and reset columns. If you right click a fact, the pop-up menu will let you add fact, delete fact, set it as the preferred fact, mark it as private, adjust the fact properties and data options, merge duplicate facts, show the timeline, show the relationships, reset the columns, cut or copy the fact, and then paste it somewhere else. On the pop-up menu, there's also a keyboard shortcut for adding fact. The second tab, Timeline, shows the individual's facts in chronological order with the option to include facts from the person's immediate family and or historic events. Displayed in column or format, the headings are year age for the year of the event and the individual's age at the time of the event, the event name for the fact or historical event, date and place where the fact or event occurred, and description for any notes entered for the fact or event. To include facts from the person's immediate family and or historic events, select the downward arrow in the Timelines button to show family events and to show historical events. This is also where you can access the Manage Historical Events feature. The icon on the Fact Pointer indicates the fact is an individual fact using an icon of one person is a shared fact with a spouse using an icon of a couple, is a shared fact with a child using an icon of a couple and a child, or a historical fact using an icon of a globe. Because the editing and information panel is so integrated with the individual and shared facts panel uh, in the People workspace, we are now going to look at the information presented in the editing panel when you are using the facts or the timeline tab. When you select a fact, the information for that fact is displayed in the editing panel so you can add or edit the information. 
Selecting the silhouette icon at the top of the editing panel will let you add a new picture to Family Tree Maker or link to an existing picture in Family Tree Maker to choose it as the designated portrait for the selected person. This can be a photo, an image of a record, or a graphic. If there is already a portrait, you can view it, choose to do not show it, or refresh it. Above and to the right of the portrait icon is the person's name and the designation as the home person or the person's relationship to the current home person, i.e. father, uncle, aunt. Right-clicking in the designation area allows you to set this person as the home person if they are not already. To the right of the person's name, silhouette, you will see the hint icons Shaky Leaf for Ancestry, Blue Outline Box for Family Search, which is not showing here, that you can mouse over and see details or click on to go to the web search workspace. Shaky Leaves show if your tree is synced to an online tree at Ancestry.com and you are logged into your account in Family Tree Maker. Depending on the fact you are adding or have selected, under the fact type you will see a date field, place field, and description field. When you are in the date field, a date calculator will appear to the right that you can use to determine the date based on the date of a known event and the age at the time of the event. The most common use is to determine a birth date from the age given on the date of death. A pencil icon appears to the right of a filled in name and location field. For a name field, it brings up the edit name where you can clearly identify given names from surnames and suffixes. For a location field, it brings up the Resolve Place Names tool where you can tweak your location so it matches an entry in the Places database. Any location name that is not found in the location database will be marked, as seen here, with a map icon with a question mark showing it is unresolved. In the February 2018 update, a navigation icon to the Places workspace sits next to the Places field now. The description field is often used to record a cemetery or church name or the name of a location at the time the event took place. Some genealogists use the phrase at time, was, or then to indicate this. Some merge records from Ancestry will put index details into the description. You can opt to keep these or remove them so you can add your own information. The option button to the right of the field type lets you mark the fact as preferred if it is not already, mark the fact as private, adjust the fact properties and fact options, as well as merge duplicate facts as applicable. You also have the option to show or not show the fact media and fact notes. If there is a green check mark to the left of the options button, it means the fact is the preferred fact. Below the fact fields are three tabs, sources, media, and notes. Each has its own toolbar. The Sources tab shows the sources and citations linked to that selected fact. On its toolbar, the New Source icon lets you add new source citation, use existing source citation, along with paste duplicate source citation and paste link to source citation. The Two Paper icon is to copy a source citation the pencil icon is to edit a source citation. The broken chain link icon is the unlinked source citation. Remember to select highlight the desired source citation first before clicking this button. The last icon, the paper with the arrow, is the source usage icon. With a source citation selected, the source usage icon brings up a pop-up window where for what persons and what facts of those persons that source citation has been used. The star in the toolbar is the rate source icon. With a source citation selected, the icon brings up 
the option to rate the citation. You can use a generalized rating quality score of 1 to 4 stars and enter your justification about the strengths and weaknesses of your source for the fact you are using it for. Or you can check Use Standardized Ratings to use quality measures based on evidence explained by Elizabeth Schoen Mills. You can define the source as original or derivative. Clarity is clear or marginal. Information, primary or secondary. Evidence as direct or indirect. These measures may vary for each fact you are using this citation for support. For example, a death certificate is a primary information direct for death, date, and place, but for any birth information it is secondary and indirect. As you fill in the measures, the gold stars increase or decrease. You can also fill in the justification on the strengths and weaknesses of the source for the fact you are using it for. The Media tab displays the media items linked to the fact either directly or through the use of source citations. On its toolbar, the Add Media icon allows you to add new media, link to existing media, create new smart story, or scan media. The pencil here is the media detail icon, opening a window where you can view the media and make adjustments. The pencil with paper icon is the open file icon and will open the media file in its associated application. The lock is the mark private icon and will make the media file private or remove the private designation. The broken chain link is now the unlink media icon. Remember to select highlight the desired media first. The book with the arrow icon is the view media usage icon. With the media image selected, the media usage icon brings up a pop-up window showing where, for what persons, and what facts of those persons that media file has been used. The left and right arrow icons are move media backward forward allowing you to adjust the order of the media files. By default, media files are displayed in alphabetical order, but you can rearrange their display to suit your needs. There is also a set thumbnail size scale slider to the right end of the toolbar. Right clicking the white space in the media display window brings up a pop up menu where you can add new media, link to existing media, create a new smart story, scan media, and adjust the thumbnail size. If you right click the a media image, you can also see the choices of open media file, view media details, view media usage, rename media file, unlink media, and refresh thumbnail. The notes tab displays the fact notes linked to the fact. On its toolbar is the mark private icon, the text style options, bold italic underline, insert basic bulleted list, insert symbol icon, text color icon, check spelling icon, and print note icon, along with an estimate of the amount of text you have entered and a slider to decrease and increase the note's text size. Now back to the individual and shared facts panel and its third tab, relationships which shows the individual's relationships and displays the joint facts that tie the individual to other people. Displayed in column or format, the headings are name of the, the person the, sh the fact is shared with, birth date of the person, death date of the person, and relation showing the relationship the selected person shares with the other person, along with the flag if the relationship is the preferred one, meaning the most important to your research or the person. Because the editing information panel on the right is so integrated with the individual and shared facts panel in the people workspace, we are now going to look at the information presented in the editing panel when you are using the relationships tab. When you select the name of a person sharing a relationship, the information and details are displayed in the editing panel so you can add or edit its information. When in the relationships tab, the top of the editing information panel stays the same. Below is a relationship designation to and the name of the other individual. The relationship can be edited from a list of choices 
Biological Adopted Step Foster Related Guardian Sealed Private Unknown for a Child Parent Relationship or for a Spouse Partner Relationship Annulled, Deceased, Divorced, None, Ongoing, Other, Private, Separated, Unknown. If the relationship is marked preferred, there is a check below the relationship type. The preferred person or couple can be changed here with the Change button. Now back to our data panels. The Person panel at the bottom contains the notes, media, web links, and tasks for the individual accessed by tabs for the panel. These items do not affect the editing information panel on the right, but these items can be added or edited from the editing information panel in the tree view of the People Workspace. The tree view was covered in People Workspace Part 1. There are two types of notes for each individual, person notes, which are general notes, and research notes, which are notes focused on your research efforts. These are the first two icons on the note toolbar. This is the person note, this is the research note. The other toolbar icons are mark private icon, textile options, insert basic bulleted text, insert symbol icon, text color icon, check spelling icon, and print note icon along with on the right end of the toolbar an estimate of the amount of text you have entered and a slider to decrease and increase the note size. The media tab displays the media items linked to the person, relationship, or source. On its toolbar you can filter to show all media, just the photos, just the stories. The add media icon lets you Add new media, link to existing media, create a new smart story, and scan media. The pencil here is the media detail icon, opening a window where you can view the media and make adjustments. The pencil with the paper is the open file icon and will open the media in its associated application. The lock is the mark private icon and will make the media file private or remove the private designation. The broken chain link is the unlink media icon. Remember to select highlight the media first before clicking on the icon. The book with the arrow icon here is the view media usage icon. With a media image selected the media usage icon brings up a pop-up window showing where for what persons and what facts of those persons that media file has been used. The screen icon here is the Create Slideshow icon, which helps to create a slideshow from the images and audio files in the Media tab or Media Workspace. The left and right arrows are the Move Media Backward Forward icons, allowing you to adjust the order of the media files. By default, the media files are displayed in alphabetical order, but you can rearrange their display to suit your needs. Two arrows in a circle icon sorts the media files alphabetically by file name or caption. On the right side, there is also a set thumbnail size scale slider to increase and decrease the size of the thumbnails. Right clicking the white space in the media display window brings up a pop-up window where you can add new media, link to existing media, create a new smart story, scan media, create a slideshow, and adjust the thumbnail size. If you right click a media icon, you can also see choices of opening media file, view media details, view media usage, rename media file, unlink media, and refresh the thumbnail. Web links tab here displays a list of websites that contain information about the selected person that you have found and entered into Family Tree Maker. On its toolbar, you can add a new web link edit the selected web link with the pencil icon, delete the selected web link with the X, and go to the selected web link with the globe. The task tab displays the research links to this specific individual. On its toolbar you can add a new task, edit the selected task, delete the selected task, delete all selected tasks that have been marked completed, 
show group headers to the group tasks by priority, filter the tasks, and print the task list report from the selected person. Tasks added for a specific person will appear on the tasks panel in the current tree view of the plan workspace. For more details on tasks, see the video on the plan workspace. We have now reviewed all the panels in the person view of the people workspace. Did you watch my video on the people workspace part one? Do you remember that these panels are resizable and that some can be closed if needed? Finally, the people workspace is one of the workspaces where a specialized menu appears in the menu toolbar. This specialized menu is the person menu and it is where most of the various people related tasks and tools are listed together for your convenience. Most of the tasks have icons situated on either the tree tab or the person tab or both so that if you get lost locating what task tool you want check the person menu. Under this menu you will find add or attach detach a person either father, mother, spouse, child, unrelated person or the selected individual and delete person meaning the selected highlighted person currently selected. There also is an item to adjust the selected highlighted person's profile picture adding to family tree maker or linking to an existing picture to view or do not show the picture or refresh the thumbnail if you have changed the profile picture. As mentioned in the third video, People Workspace Part 1, on this menu you can also access the add or delete bookmark for the selected highlighted person. You can use the person menu to go to the home person or set the currently selected highlighted person as the home person. Also you can set the spouse order of the currently selected highlighted person. If any task tool does not apply to the selected highlighted person, that item is grayed out and unselectable. So if a person only has one spouse, you will see the set spouse order item grayed out. The index of individuals in the person menu brings up a tree index list in another window to help you locate and select an individual. You can see the name, birth, marriage, and death dates for each person. In the information bar at the bottom of the window, you see if the person has a nickname, spouse, or reference number. There is a search interface to help navigate large tree files as well as a button to jump to the home person and a button to bring up your bookmark list. The person menu is also where you can access the merge two specific individuals tool if you find you have a duplicated person created accidentally or after importing another tree file into your tree file. The export branch tool is here too. As you can see, I'm not covering the tools or tasks whose actions are more involved and may be better covered in separate shorter videos. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you have not watched the video before this one, People Workspace Part 1, which reviews the Workspace's Tree View tab and People toolbar, I hope you will. It really would be beneficial to watch both parts to see how the different views are similar and yet different and the advantages of working in both of them. The next video will be on Places Workspace. Thank you for watching. This has been Tips, Tricks, and How-To by Gone Researching.